welcome you to today's lesson with me, teacher Ian Hagarinda, a grade 6 teacher at Fountain School. So now, today in mathematics, I will take you in, um, in the topic approximation. Now remember, last time we looked at um, rounding off numbers to the nearest hundreds. Now, if you have a number, we have maybe 525. We say, for you to round off this number to the nearest hundreds, You are taught to say round of 525 to the nearest hundreds. We say there are some steps to follow. The first step we say you look at the last what? Two digits. You look at the last two digits. Are the last two digits below 50 or they are more than 50? So in this case we said 25 is below 50 and we said all the numbers that are below 50 their value is 0, 0. Then you maintain the same 5 that you have. Then we also looked at a number where we have maybe 75. You say 675. You ask yourself the same question. Are the last two digits, which is 7 and 5, below 50 or more than 50? This, in this case, we have 75. So 75 is more than 50. And we said all the numbers that are more than 50, their value is 100. Their value is 100. Now, are you supposed to write the 100 or the whole number 100 here? We say no. You need now to write 0 where there's 5 and another 0 where there's 7. Then what should happen to the one which is attached to 100? You need to add it to the third number which is 6 and when you add 1 plus 6 you have 7 so meaning that if you are told to say round off these numbers 525 to the nearest hundred the answer will be 500 if you are told again to say round off 675 to the nearest hundred this is where your answer will be 700. Now today, we will look at now rounding off numbers to the nearest thousands. Today we shall look at rounding off numbers to the nearest thousands. Now, just like, you know, last time we looked at um, the steps that are followed to or in order to round off numbers to the nearest Hundreds. Even today, we we'll also look at some steps that should help us, you know, rounding off numbers to the nearest thousands. Now, this is where we look at this. Um, the first step says you look at the last three digits. When we say digits, we mean numbers. So the first point or step that should uh, be considered when rounding off numbers to the nearest thousands, you look at the last three numbers or last three digits. When you are done looking at the last three digits, what should happen to those digits? The second point now or step says you check, are the last three digits less than or between zero to 499 or the last three digits are they between 500 to 999 this is where now you start counting if you want you say one two three four you reach up to 499 now if you discover that the last three numbers in your number or in the number you are given, the numbers are between this. Their value is 0, 0, 0. Now, if you check the numbers that you have, the last three numbers or last digits or last three digits that you have in a number, they are between 500 to 999. What is their value? Their value will be 1,000. I hope you are following. 
So we are saying again, the numbers that are between 0 to 499, their value is 0, 0, 0. Now, if the numbers in the number that you have been given, they are between 500 to 999, the value is 1000. Now, for us to understand these three steps, we need to look at the examples. We need to look at the examples. And the first example that we are going to look at is where we say we have 339. So we can say now examples. We we'll say round off, round off the given numbers. The given numbers to the nearest to the nearest thousands. Okay, so the first one is three hundred and eight. Here, the first question or the first example they've given us. A number which is having three digits. So this number to read it, it is 338. Then you ask yourself now, based on the principles that we said, because we say you look at the last three digits. If the last three digits are below or they are between 0 to 499, the value is 0, 0, 0. Now, if the last three digits you are given in a number are between 500 to 999, the value is 1000. So, we'll ask the same questions here on this example. So, the first one is we check. We have 338. Is this number between 0 to 499? And the answer is yes. This number is between this one. It is not more than 500, but it is below 500. Hence, we round off this number 338, it will be 0, 0, 0. So this is your answer when you round off or when you are taught to round off that number. So let's also look at the second uh, example, which is B. So in this case, we we'll look at the first one or the second one, which is 976. If you are going to say, can you round off a number having three digits, which is 976? How can you go about it? You need to ask yourself the same three questions. Is 976 more than 500 to 999? Or it is below, it is below 500. So the answer to that question, we can say 976, it is a above, it is above, it is above 500. Meaning we say it is between 500 to 999. And we said the value for these numbers that are between 500 to 99, their value is 1,000. Now, how are we going to write our 1,000 there? We will say this number, since it is between 500 to 99, the value is 1,000. So you've round off, you've rounded off 976 to the nearest. Thousands. Let's look at you know some more examples so that we understand how we can go about it, rounding off numbers. We have another number which is two hundred thirty-nine. Then we say six hundred nine. We have two hundred thirty-nine thousand six hundred nine. How can you round off that number? Since here, in the first 
two examples, we looked at numbers with three digits. Now here we have about six digits. So the third question, we need to look at the last three digits. Our focus should just be on the last three digits. We say 609, is it above 500 or it is below 500? So the answer to this one, we can say 600, it is more than 500. Hence we say the value of 609, it is 1000. Now what will happen is that we say where there's 9, you write 0, you write 0 also, and also 0. Then, excuse me, what should happen to the one which is attached to 1000? Uh, we'll add it to 9. So we we'll say 1 plus now, 1 plus 9, and our answer there, it will be 10. Now, we are not going to write 10 here, since we have some more numbers to add there. We'll say 0, then plus 1 to 3. We'll say 1 plus 3, it will be 4. Then we also maintain that one, which is 240,000. 240,000. So this is our answer if you round it off to the nearest thousands. Let's talk, look at another example. So in this case, we'll look at 600. We'll say 6,399. Six so this number, we'll still look at the last three digits. Is 399 above 500 or it is below 500 so the answer to this question we are asking ourselves we we'll say 399 it is below 500 and the value for all the numbers that are below 500 their value is 0 0 0 and we maintain that 6 because it is not affected so now for us to look at you know more examples and understand them, I have something here on this chart so that you can now take note of the single sentences or points that are there. So we are saying rounding off to the nearest thousand. Alright, so we are saying round off to the nearest thousand. This is where we are saying there are steps to follow. The steps, number one, when rounding off to the nearest thousands, look at the last three digits. That is the last digits in the place value of hundreds, tens, and ones. If the last three digits end with numbers between zero and 449, this is where we can say 400 there, we can correct it to 499 so that we understand it better. So if you check now, if the numbers end with uh, numbers between 0 and 499, we replace them with 000, zero, zero. while the digits in the thousands remain the same. Then the third step is if the last three digits are between 599 or 999, then make them 1000 and add a 1 to the value in the thousands place value. That is, the last three digits remain 000. zero, zero. So to understand these steps that are here, we have the first example which is 338. This one is below 500. Where is it? It is between 0 and 499. Hence, we say the value is 000. zero, zero. The second one is 976. We say if the number is more than 500, meaning it is between 500 to 999, the value is 1000. So this number is rounded off to 1000. Then we have 239,609. The last three digits, we have 609. It is more than 
500. Hence, the value is 1000. Where there's 9, we'll write 0. And where there's 0, we'll maintain 0. Where there's 6, we'll write 0. And add a 1 to 9, it will be 10 again. And we'll write 0. And add 1 to 3, which will be 4. And we maintain 2. The other example, we have 9,504. We ask ourselves, is 504 more than 500 or it is below 500 or less 500? In this case, 500, it is in 1,000. We will write 0 on 4, 0 on 0, 0 on 5 here. And we will add a 1 to 9, which will be 10. We will write the whole number 10 because we do not have the numbers to add again. Then the other one, we have 600 or 6,399. This number, 399, it is less than 500, meaning the value it will have is 0, 0, 0, and we maintain 6. The last example is 8,999. We focus on the last three digits. The last three digits, we have 999. And this one, we say numbers that are between 500 to 999, their value is 1000. So in this case, 999 is equal to 999. The same value it will have is 1000. And we we'll say 0, 0, 0, and add a 1 to 8, and it will be 9000. So, these things are helping us understand more about t, rounding off numbers to the nearest thousands. Now, having looked at these steps and the examples that are here, it is important now to, you know, look at the exercise or you get the book and the pen so that you write the exercise and thereafter, I'll mark you so you can get your book and write the questions that I'll write here. Well, so this is the exercise. The question is saying, round off the following numbers to the nearest thousand. So we have these questions. A, 238. You round off 238 to the nearest thousand. To the nearest thousand. Then we also have B. 2515 you also round off this number we also have 110932 you also round off this number then d we have 129 then e 909 and the last one is 567899 Remember, we said when rounding off these numbers, you focus on the last three digits. Then you ask yourself those three important questions we are asking ourselves. So, you have been with me in today's lesson in mathematics where we are looking at approximation um, Mr. Hagadinda or teacher Hagadinda, Ian, a grade 6 teacher at Fountain School in Kasama of Northern Province. Until next time, see you then.